and welcome to Blue Prism Advanced Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how to work with get worksheet range as collection action. First of all, let me show you an, a small use case where we are going to work with get worksheet range as collection action. If you see on my screen, I'm having a workbook with the name of employee. Inside that, I'm having a lot of worksheets. If you see right now, I'm in the employees worksheet. I'm having the data starting from A1 to F10. Okay, so to extract the data from the particular cell to particular cell in a such a way, if you see over here, I want to get the data from A6 to F10. In that case, we are going to use get worksheet range as collection. You may ask that we are having different actions like get worksheet as collection, get worksheet as collection fast, get worksheet as collection offset. By using them, why can't we get the data in a such a way as specified range from A6 to F10? Let's recap about that actions once again. If you see over here, whenever I'm going to select get worksheet as collection, what will happen? I'm going to give the workbook name and the worksheet. But over here, I'm not going to be mentioning the starting and the end of the cell, right? In the same way, if I'm going to select get worksheet as collection first, what will happen? There's no inputs over there. So what it will happen, it will get the entire worksheet data, which is there in the active for the particular workbook. All right. Irrespective of the range, it will go ahead and it will get it out. Now, we are having another action that is get worksheet as collection offset. What it will do, it is asking for the workbook, worksheet name and the starting cell. Okay. It is just asking from where you need to start, but there's no end of that. If I shown you over here, if I see by using get worksheet as collection offset, you can mention the starting cell, but the end of the cell is nothing but by default, it will be F10 end of the worksheet right but if you want to get it in a such a way like a6 to f8 in that case there is no input over here to specify the end of the cell and if you see over here i'm having use headers so whatever the starting cell you are going to be mentioning it that row will be considered as a column if you are going to mention use header as true in that case the starting row itself it will be considered as columns all right. Now, as we specified, I want to get the specific range over here. If you see, I'm going to select A4 to F8. In that case, there is no action we have learned previously. And also, if you see, there is one action that we have get cell value. So in that case, you can get only specific cell reference value only. So to satisfy our needs or to satisfy our use case, we are going to use get worksheet range as collection. First of all, let me drag and drop action stays onto the canvas. We'll see the properties first for the get worksheet range as collection action. Click on the properties. I'm going to select business object as MS Excel VBO. And the action over here, I'm going to work with get worksheet range as collection. Let's select that. And if you see the inputs over here, it is same, almost same as get worksheet as collection offset, except the end cell over here. And if you see in the get worksheet as collection offset, there you are having use headers input, but here you don't have use header over here. So what will happen in that case, by default, whatever the starting cell you are going to mention, that entire row will be considered as the column, all right? And now we'll start with the inputs over here. What is handle? We're going to give the handle value, which we have seen already. And the workbook name, I'm going to give the employee, which already we have stored inside the test data type with the name of workbook name. All right. Now, what is the worksheet? I will give it manually over here for the time being. You can see over here, employees. In our previous sessions, we have seen how we can collect all the worksheets names by using get worksheet names all right now i'm going to give worksheet name as manually over here with the value of employees and over here if you see i'm going to start with a1 to make you understand nothing but 
I'm having the columns in my worksheet. The first row will be considered as the columns over there. Over here, you can see the range A1 to F10. I'm going to mention the same thing over here. The end cell, I'm going to give it as F10 in double quotes. All right. Now, what are the range we have got it? I'm going to store in the outputs as collection. I'm going to give it as range output. And then the data type for the collections, I'm going to store inside the collections as range output. And then I'm going to click on OK. Now you got the collections over here, right? To make you understand what I'm going to do, I'm going to clear all these other actions. I'm going to delete all other actions. I'm going to link from open workbook to get worksheet range and from there to close workbook. From close workbook to click close instance. This is the normal flow that what we have, all right? Now, by using this action, we'll get the data from A1 to F10, and the first row will be considered at the columns in the collection. All right. Now, let's run the process to see the output. Process execution started. Get worksheet range as collection has been executed successfully. And then, if you see the output over here, let me open the collection over here from the range output go to the current values, and if you see all the values over here, what we have mentioned in the range from A1 to F10, all the values have been collected and it has been stored inside the collection with the name of range output. And if you see over here, the first row has been considered as the columns over here. All right. Now let me close it. Now I will take some more thing over here. Okay, now I will select different range over here. If you see, I'm going to select A4 to F9. I'm going to select that. Let me change the properties of the get worksheet range. Now I'm going to give A4 to F9. I'm going to change the starting cell and as well as the end cell. And then as usual, we are going to store the out range output collection. Let's click on OK. Now what will happen, this A4 will be considered as the column, columns for the collection. Let me tell you one thing over here. If you see whenever you are going to mention A4 at the starting cell and the F9 at the end cell, then what will happen? It will check the entire column. You can see over here, Pune I am having as a column. At the same time, you can see job location also is Pune, which is not unique. So in that case, what it will happen, it will throw an error over there. Let me show you that by running the process. Process execution started. And you can see we got an error at the stage get worksheet as get worksheet range as collection. What is the error? It will say could not execute code state because the exception thrown by the code state, a column named Pune already belongs to this data table. So you can find Pune over here as well as Pune over here. It is trying to make it as a columns over there. So it should be unique for each and every column, right? So to make you understand what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep it Pune one and then I have saved it. Now let's run the process once again to see the output. Is it executed successfully or not? At the same time, the particular row, whatever we have mentioned as a starting cell, it has been considered as a column or not. Now, if you see, get worksheet range as collection as action has been executed successfully. Now, let's open the output over here. Now, if you see in the current values, the first row has been considered as the column. You can see over here, 100126 stage or text you can see all the columns for the collection i hope you understand how to fetch the values from the starting cell unto end cell by using get worksheet range as collection i will tell you one more thing over here what if if i'm going to mention from a4 to d8 in that case what are the values it will select now i will show you in such a way if you see the starting cell is a4 and then you are going to select d8 in that case it will select only the particular value at the table and the remaining columns it won't considered at all so let me show you that how it is going to be working 
let me change the properties in the worksheet range action now i'm going to give the end cell as d8 over here and then i'm going to click on okay now once again to see the output let's run the process process execution started and if you see over here previously we had n number of columns right like six to seven columns that we had now when you see in the current values i don't have all the columns over here the specified range from a4 to d8 we got the entire values and in such a way it will go in a such a way like what are the columns that we have till you are going to mentioning the starting cell and the end cell it will get the values over there i hope you understand how to fetch the values from the worksheet based on the starting cell and based on the end cell by using get worksheet range as collection action thank you for watching blue prism tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a wonderful day